Oh! I don't even know how to start this, guys. Yeah, let me just go. This week is gonna be about my biggest stock flop. So this is the biggest stock that I regret not investing in. And I'm gonna tell you guys why. <sighs> Gosh, this is a biggie. <laughs> You, you know, know what you're watching, watching. DS, DS Learning Finance. <laughs> and the stock under question is called Greggs. They're a FTSE 250 company found in the London Stock Exchange. And boy, they're doing well for themselves to say the least. What they do is they sell hot and cold bakery products, both savoury and sweet. They're really, really thriving right now. Um, I spotted this stock a while ago, but I've always kind of had a sweet spot for Greggs and it's just because every time I pass like that shop, that store, when I was first getting started investing, I always realised that it was just always packed. No matter which Greggs I go to, the one in Leeds, the one in London, the one in Northampton, the one in Nottingham, you, you pick. Guarantee you guys, every lunchtime, that store will be jam packed. And I was just thinking, if so many people are buying into this, um, company then clearly they, they must have something good going on in the financials and whenever I've looked at companies one thing that's daunted me and made me sort of um, worry for the company's financial health was the long-term liabilities but no not Greg's Greg's has a very low long-term debt compared to its current and um, that's a good thing and obviously other stuff like they had good returns. So whenever you look at the profits and the revenue year in, year out, you'll notice that it's it's grown each and every year, which is a good thing as well, because it means the company is progressing. But, and I mean, but the one thing that was dangling over my head, haunting me with this stock, is that the current assets it has for short of covering the current liabilities. So this means if Mr. Debt Collector mm -mm, comes knocking on their door for the short term um, debts, oh, whoever, yeah, they're not able to cover it with their own assets by themselves. And then this has a knock on effect because it means that they'll probably have to take out a loan, owe more debt to other debtors, and maybe that might bump up their long term debt. And eventually repeatedly doing this year in, year out will mean that it will create a huge massive debt, long term debt in the future for the years to come. So this completely ruled out Greg's for me at the time. But the ironic thing is, whew, how do I say this people? If I had invested then and sold now, for example, so a year on, roughly speaking, I would have doubled my investment. Double, double. So the 52 week range for Greg's, which basically tells you the highest and lowest prices that that stock has fetched for over the past year, pretty much, has ranged from the lowest range, which was £9.39 per share, to £18.17 per share. That's roughly double, people. <laughs> and that means if I would have kept a majority of my money there, it would have easily been my biggest um, winning stock. And yeah, just to put in perspective, you put a thousand pounds, you get 2K back. You put 10,000 pounds, you get roughly 20K back. You, you can see where I'm going with this. You put the, the kitchen zinc and the 100,000 pounds, all of your money and whatnot, and maybe your cat too. Yeah, you'll get twice that back, guys. It was a good, good year for Greg's, to say the least. Just a little disclaimer, I don't condone doing that. Invest wisely, people. Anyways, so you guys can feel my pain now. But but at that time, I was just getting started. So I was taking things as face value. I wasn't actually seeing the whole picture, the whole um, frame of what was going on with Greg's. And that ultimately meant that I missed out on this opportunity. But one thing I can say is that this story ain't over, guys. After gaining a year's experience in the stock market, I can comfortably say that hindsight is a wonderful thing. And just to add on to that, it's not just about the current assets or just the long term assets. It's the combination of the two relative to their depths that paints the picture for the company. So knowing that now, 
means that this isn't over with me and Greg's. My relationship hasn't been completely severed. So I'm now going to start researching in Greg's. And the icing, the cherry on the cake is that I don't even think Greg's has reached that ceiling yet. I really don't because one, they're FTSE 250 company, yeah? And their market cap is like roughly 1.8 billion pounds. Um, a foot, to get to the FTSE 100, which is like the big boy leagues, yeah? You need roughly 4.8 billion pounds. So they've got a ton of range to work in. And once they've reached that breakout FTSE 100 um, sort of status, the share price will just skyrocket. And I think that they will be able to do it just because of what I've seen. Greg's is always, like I reiterate it, Greg's is always jam packed whenever I'm passing it. Like there's always people in it wanting to buy a bakery. And that speaks volumes for the, for the company. It means that the company is really, really prized. It's really in demand in the UK. And I personally want to capitalize on that people. So I think Greg's has a big, big future ahead of itself. So now is the time that I have to start researching. So you guys best believe, yeah. I'm gonna be buying some stocks in Greg's. The only thing is I won't be buying any stocks anytime soon for at least the next month or two because the London Stock Exchange is so overvalued right now. I'm gonna do a video next week about why it's overvalued and why I think it's overvalued, but yeah, boy, it's high. So I'm gonna wait till when things come crashing back down to reality. Cause right now people are getting too gassed. It's not that deep. Your price um, for the stock is too high. Like come back down to reality, please. So when that happens, that's when I'm gonna invest. So I'm gonna give it a bit of breathing space, let the stocks do all their nonsense and the market do all of its nonsense too. And then I will act. So I'm ready. I'm definitely on the lookout guys for this stock. I was just thinking how many other people, how many other investors have found themselves in this sort of scenario where it's like a stop flop, as I like to call it. So a big opportunity that you realize a certain amount of time after initially making a judgment and then realize, okay, you know what? I slightly regret not doing that. I slightly regret not putting my money in. Or the opposite, I slightly regret not selling um, my stocks how many of you guys have been through that situation and tell me what you guys have actually done because I would like to know as well but at the same time it's important to know that if you guys have found yourself in a similar situation as I have you've got to remember that it is such a skill to be able to find companies like Greg's potential stocks yeah amongst the hundreds the thousands of other stocks you're able to find that stock so clearly it shows you're on the right path which is why I'm producing this video because ultimately I'm admitting that it's such a big mistake for me to not invest in this stock but at the same time it's showing that I am picking the right stocks to look at in the first place so it's reassuring it's kind of like a bittersweet scenario next time I will take full advantage of this it's definitely my mistake learnt and I will keep progressing from there the question is will you guys too it's your favorite YouTuber, guys. Dami Solari, I talk about stock market investments. I talk about property investments, financial management too, giving you guys that consistent content, you know? Before you guys can go about doing whatever you're going to do for the rest of the day, say it with me. Like, subscribe, and share, people. What? DS Learning Finance. Whoa. Bye, guys. Whoa. 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 Ha!